Welcome to Local Rock Talk. I'm the host, Pausa. Something new is happening. We have a band named Devil's Night Out. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having Thank, us you, man. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Uh, we have a surprise um, in entertainment after the interview. <laughs> I have a couple of questions that you can play. All right. How did your band start? How did we start? Very good with you. So, yeah. I mean, this was a while ago. I think we're coming up on our four and a half anniversary. Almost five, yeah. It, uh, it started with uh, me in a tiny little sweat box. And I quickly was like, all right, nope, we got to get going. So I picked up a guitar player. And soon after that, I was playing around at disc golf, randomly asking people all over the place, hey, you know bass player? Hey, you know bass player? Finally stumbled upon this guy, showed up, absolutely killed it. And then, much to my dismay, I had a couple singers try out this one time. And it was all right, but um, he absolutely killed it. I had another couple singers there as well, and they absolutely sucked. But I hated him as a person, <laughs> just first, deep down in my first, soul. The absolute <laughs> first practice just we ever absolute did. absolute ass. We were sitting there, and we, I don't even remember what songs we were playing at that point, but we had a couple songs that they were trying out, you know, singers on. And when I came in, I remember him from, I've actually known Scott and Brian from about, geez, 17 years ago now. Yeah, 15 we've, anyway, We've yeah. known each other a long time. We've been in a band together before. But TJ actually probably eight, nine years ago, if not more, came and tried out for another band that I was starting with a friend of mine. And I remembered him. So when I came in, I, I was just laying hell on him. I was getting him everything in the book, calling him names, just exactly picking on him the whole time. Exactly what you want to do to impress somebody. Yeah, the first impression sure. is like, hey, what's up, dude? You suck. <laughs> like, stuff like that. <laughs> and he was like, what the? Oh. But overall, it turned out that he was absolutely the best choice. Uh, as far as vocals go, he was definitely spot on and impressive. And as much as I didn't necessarily care for his personality at the time, <laughs> he was definitely the clear choice. <laughs> and then before I forget about these two, these guys came in a little bit after the fact, not too, too long, but... Um, I was pretty long. It was, it I mean, me yeah, we had to grow you up a little bit. Yeah, incubate, <laughs> right. you know? yep. um, but we ended up picking up these guys along the way and it's been nothing but amazing since. Awesome. All right. What other bands have you played with? Oh, geez. We, uh, so we do a lot of New England sh uh, shows. Uh, we spend a lot of time in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, like that region. Um, we actually are really good friends with a local band here in Massachusetts called Reaver. They're some of our best friends. We love them to death. They actually just dropped a new CD uh, recently, which is oh, yeah, awesome. They'll be coming on too. They're coming on next month for you. We told them to because you know if we're going to do this, they got to do it too. Absolutely. So. <laughs> um, but we've we've had the opportunities to open up for uh, Trivium. We've opened for Dope and Head PE. Um, we just actually just this past weekend we played for Death Rattle, and they. I want to say like a couple weeks ago just got back from Japan. They were touring Japan. Back. Yeah, and in a and couple weeks they're going to Europe too. So yep, they're going on tour in Europe too. So wow. um, we, we've played with a number of bands. Like I said, we've, we've been doing this for almost five years now. And yeah, we've played with a bunch of bands. And we're actually one of the bands that we're not afraid to go out there and, and show up the big timers. We played for Trivium, and that was our second show we ever played. And we opened, and we made a bunch of fans that night. So cool. it's, it's, it's good for us. We like challenge. I think my second or third show was with the Dope and Head PE, head yep. PE show. I think that was my second show with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was at the Bungalow in New Hampshire. It was just, an, just the best, best time ever. Awesome. Couldn't even believe yeah. how awesome that show was. That's really awesome time. All right. How did you meet everyone in your band? <laughs> All right, well, Scott and Brian, actually, uh, it, this was about 17 years ago. I had a friend who was a drummer in a band called Asriel, and he goes, hey, I'm looking for a singer. I was like, all right, cool, I'll come check it out. And first practice, I met Scott and Brian, and we were together for, what, like a year, give or take? Yeah, close to that. And that, that band kind of dissipated, and then... Uh, 
just a few years late, you know, actually quite a while later now, <laughs> like 13 <laughs> years later, Scott calls me up out of the blue and says, hey, I got a band, we're looking for a singer. I came in, tried out, um, got the shot, which was great. And then I, mean, I actually went to one of their shows to check them out and that's how I came I, I, into I think this. it was our third show you came to and, and you were like, yep, I'm doing this. <laughs> and he came in a couple weeks later and crushed it and he became, you know, part of the band. Well, I joined, I joined the band because when I was about 13, 14 years old, I was about 13 when I played my first show. And my dad, he was in a band called Weapons of Hand for like the longest time. And I got good enough. He let me play bass in the band for a long time. So it got me a lot of experience as a teenager to play, you know, live shows. Meaning I played a ton of shows, the Devil's Night Out, like a ton of shows. So they became like really good friends of mine, you know. After some things, they had to let go of their guitar player. And they said, hey, we need another guitar player and we would love to have you in the band. So I'm like, yes. I would love to join this band. Yep. Tyler was Tyler was almost, without a doubt, one of the first options we had because, one, he'd been around us for a number of years. He yeah. talked with us and hung out with us and knew he, our stuff. He literally knew all the songs. He knew, like everything about what we were doing and what our our you know, focus was and music. And so he came in and, I mean, it was almost like, if we say no, we're going to have to smash your heads in the concrete. <laughs> it's just stupid. If you say no, it doesn't it, it didn't make any sense. So. I definitely don't I definitely don't regret my decision. Let me tell you that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go to information. When did the beer got together? So that was probably I think we're like we said we're talking about like getting closer to 5 years. Yeah. Um and uh you know, just I like we say, said it's start up is June. Like oh yeah, four, so we're almost exactly ago. five years now. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're out there now. It's, it was June. It's actually, I want to say my Facebook memories gave me it was like June seventh. I had a tryout. I said I had a date for Sunday night, and it was Scott over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, th I want to say it was like four or five years ago. This month we we got together and actually started writing music and uh, causing musical chaos as much as possible. Yeah, we like to put holes in the floors of stages. <laughs> this well, man has done that one time this concrete, or more. So. I don't even remember. I, I'll Just try, man. man. I will Just try. <laughs> I'm not afraid to cause chaos. <laughs> awesome. All right. This question. Is there going to be a tour? A tour? Yeah. Well, we're always looking to play dates. I mean, there's... Oh, yeah. We're, well, we're, we're, we're working up on building some stuff up, and we are looking at doing a tour we're actually uh, we have a sponsorship or endorsement for uh, a t-shirt company in Tennessee called envied clothing and uh, they uh, they've asked us to come down a few times and we're working on the logistics of getting out there and touring and uh, spreading our chaos worldwide you know yeah All right any information that can contact you and stuff yeah if anyone needs uh, any information about upcoming shows um, where you can get t-shirts, CDs, stuff like that. Um, you can find us on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash devil's night out. Um, there's -E. also, our, yeah, our website's also www.devilsnightout.com. It's D-E-V-I-L-S-N-I-T-E-O-U-T. Um, we didn't use an apostrophe and we spelled night wrong. I don't remember why, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go there, you can find everything, um, all our shows. Um, we have an email like mailing list you can sign up for. Um, our next show is actually uh, June 21st up in Portland, Maine at a rock club called Geno's. And it's going to be a really kick ass time. So if you got a chance to drive on up, I think it's about an hour from here. Come yeah, on up. That, yeah. Vermont, Vermont Champs Crippitus will also be there. Yep. Friends from uh, Vermont will be coming over from, uh, to help us rock out. So it's going to be a good time up in Geno's on November, uh, June 21st. Well, support the band. So <laughs> see them rock out stuff. Yeah. Devil's Night Out. That's us. All right. So anything you have? Anything we have? Well, we, just to say thank you for having us come down this way, we brought a little present for you. It's a CD that we just released. It's called Dilute Vito Sin. Uh, awesome. We got a sticker and a bracelet, and we figured you looked terrible in that shirt, so you needed a new one. So we got you one of our brand new 
Greed Demon T-shirts. It's uh, it's brand new. We barely even released it yeah. to the public, um, but it's uh, right there for you. So if you want to check us out, and you can see there's some pictures, uh, new CD and such. Um, go on the website or find this guy and just tell him he looks really good in that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do that. It's a sexy shirt. All right. Thanks for the thanks for the package, Skip. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Out, we really appreciate this. It's awesome. That is all I have for questions. Devil's Night Out, you can start playing 20 minute set. All right, sounds good. All right, nice. Appreciate it. Let's rock out, cause some chaos. Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Sun. 
you brought that ass and you like it hot. Oh, baby, next time bring some toys for the cat. We're gonna fuck you tonight.
Mike. This next song is Dime. <laughs>
place in this world for this reality. Hold your breath and let your eyes song.
Much. We are Devil's Night Out. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zagreli.